Hi friends, it's super messy. Um, I'm starting because I'm in my closet, which you guys never get to see. That's because I have not designed it and fixed it the way that I want to. I need to go through all of these bags and figure out what I want and what I do not want. One of my friends from my job is actually moving into her own place this summer and so she's going to be giving a lot of away hopefully she has some cute little mini bags for the life of me i can't find cute little small bags if they're not um like on my wish list i'm like just looking for some cute not necessarily throwaway bags but just like smaller cute little bags but we're in here because i'm going to see if this bag matches that vacation remember i told you guys i had the vacation mommy sandals to go with my fit for the art in the museum i'm so annoyed because my landlord slash neighbor never tells me when they're coming to do the yard and it's just exponentially loud like what if i wasn't up at this time okay so let's see uh it could go it's giving two different things though so i don't know i'm trying to find the most comfortable shoe to bring in for this thing because i don't know how long we're going to be walking um uh, but i've been up i don't know why i get up and start my morning every day at 5 36 o'clock in the morning but i got up at 6 47 this morning and i just laid in my bed i did my devotional and scripture i have not listened to my worship music yet but i was going to do my nails but honestly you guys i don't know if you've heard about the gel nail polishes from amazon like giving people I don't know if something is stuck under my nail or I don't know if it's from my nail polish. So I'm honestly kind of scared of doing anything. But if I do, my nails is going to be one of those cute, just like line works or dots or something. And I also was going to get up and get some movement in my body. But instead, I stretched. I did like a bed stretch. And I got out of my bed and I stretched um, some yoga stretches for my body. And... Also, I was going to go walk to Starbucks and get me a matcha because I'm craving a matcha. But I said, hmm, today would be a good day for me not to support them if there's a cute coffee shop on Melrose next to the art gallery that I'm going to. So instead, I'm going to start off with making me a cute little toffee nut oat milk latte here at home and make me some breakfast so that way I don't have to spend money in that area just to hold me over because it's from 12 to 2 and right now it's only like 8 15 8 20 and then i'm going to watch a little youtube -y again i don't know why my last video has not uploaded hopefully it's up by the time i edit chop and screw and post this vlog but I'm going to do that and then maybe my nails. I cut my my homegirl. The wig that I was wearing, I cut it and usually I cut it and it comes out really nice. I think I messed this one up, y'all. But to be honest, I don't think my twist out is doing what I want it to do either. So hopefully my face beat and my jewelry and my outfit compensates for what my hair is about to look like and i could like freak it for today and then i'll do my wash and retwist tomorrow with my natural hair since i have sunday off so let me get in this kitchen and get my coffee and my breakfast together <laughs> hi friends i'm back with the bonnets good morning it's saturday and i'm in my favorite area of the house making saturday breakfast y'all I don't know why I was up at 6.47 this morning. I really couldn't even sleep last night, but I forced myself. Like, I was sleepy. My body was tired. I felt myself going to sleep, but it just would not happen. So, I ended up taking melatonin, thinking it would knock me out, thinking I'll be able to sleep a little longer today. That didn't happen. I woke up early. So, I did my scripture and devotional. Did not do my worship music yet. 
I decided instead of going to Starbucks and giving them my money, I'll save that for when I go to the event, uh, well, the art gallery today with the girls to see if there's a cute little coffee shop around the way because I am craving matcha actually. But I'm going to make me a cute little white chocolate toffee latte here at home. And I'm craving two things, so do not judge me, you all. I'm going to make a half of an avocado toast, and then the other half, I'm going to do my <laughs> pesto, my egg pesto. Um, I'm really craving it. And again, instead of me giving money to Starbucks on this Saturday, I'm going to do that. So I'm only going to do one egg and a half of toast. I'm really trying to unbig my bag. Everybody's like, oh my God, you're so healthy. Oh my God. No, I'm eating my feelings, you guys. I get it. I get it. A lot of people that know me, you know, they like the thick Mecca. They like the, the booty that, you know, twirls in a circle and they just, they like the chi -chis and everything. Now my chi -chis are not coming back, which I'm kind of grateful for. They're in a weird stage. They are back, but they are not full. Um, so... Yeah, I get all of that, but now my stomach is just protruding and not in the way that I like it. I tried on this dress that I bought for like a date night uh, that I never got to wear. And I tried it on yesterday and I'm not happy with the results at all. So as much as I keep saying I need to lose weight, I for real need to try and work on it. But today I'm going to have my half avocado toast and for sure my... Um, egg pesto toast but i am gonna try to work on <laughs> losing this stomach my d bloats help but i don't take them every day so that reminds me i need to actually go take my d bloats i'm gonna take my d bloats and brush my teeth first before i have this egg pesto coffee i'm like filming now because my neighbors never tell me slash landlord never tells me when um, she never tells me when they are coming to do our lawn and stuff and so it's always super freaking loud and i just don't understand it like i could literally still be asleep let me go with my gummy So these are the lemon de bloats and they work. I just haven't taken them consistent consistently. I stopped my subscription because I was not paying $90. I do want to try some other brands, but I'm about to take these. The lemon chills, immaculate. I finished two bottles and then I have the Vag Per. No, let me purse vaginal probiotics. And I don't want to in mind, but we're girls here, right? It seems like these vaginal care products always end up giving us like yeast infections and stuff. So, and I'm not one to have frequent issues down there. Like I don't play about my nana. Mm -hmm. any of my past partners know that so i bought them and i have two full i think i tried maybe four so i didn't notice the difference or not but i'm scared because of like the sugar content and things like that it's just gonna mess it up down there and i don't want that let me know if you uh tried those and how they worked out for you but i'm gonna make my breakfast and my latte i'm gonna go brush my teeth make my breakfast and my latte and then figure out my scent for today. I think I'm going to go with that linen outfit. I don't know why YouTube hasn't uploaded my video yet, but from the last video, hopefully it's uploaded by the time I finish editing, chopping and screwing up this video. Um, so you can see what I'm talking about. But they still have yet to upload my video, y'all. So, I need to figure out what's going on with that. And then, 
I'm going to be getting ready for the art gallery. So I will see you guys in a second. <laughs> breakfast and my weekly Saturday talks with my sisters and my mom and I'm not gonna lie to you I'm really excited it's still kind of gloomy outside today which is good so that means once I do my face once I put on my outfit I'm not gonna be sweating I'm not gonna be swarming in sweat um it felt good to talk to them I still feel a lot of sadness. I'm not going to say a lot. That's an exaggeration. I feel sadness about around what's going on. But I feel like it's God giving me what I want. And I think it is time for me to move. But again, we'll talk about that in another vlog. I'm drinking my coffee. I made me a white chocolate toffee latte. And you hear all of those things and you think it's super sweet. But it's not. It's the right taste of sweetness. The right taste of espresso. I'm sitting here watching Sierra vlogs, Life with Sierra. If you follow her on TikTok, she is hilarious. And honestly, I didn't know she had a YouTube channel with hella videos. So I'm watching this. But to be honest, guys, like, I'm tired. I'm sleepy and I'm like relaxing in this gloomy. I have my ceiling fan on. It's nice and gloomy. I have candles around the house lit. And I'm co nice and cozy with my coffee. I have been cheating with hot lattes, with iced lattes. Iced coffee reigns supreme, we all know. Um, is it even real coffee at that point? Anyway, but I'm nice and cozy and I really could take another nap. But I know as soon as I close my eyes, it's going to be time for me to wake up. And I need a shower and I need a shave because I ain't shaved. And I got to beat my face down. But I am excited for to be invited to this group. And so I will see y'all after my downtime, I guess. Okay, y'all. So per every girl in LA ever going to an event, this is the fit, you guys. Um, This is the fit. I went with the vacation sandals and I'm going to do the croc bag because... It's art, and you don't need to follow rules with art. I'm also going to do the green sunnies. I cannot find my earrings for the life of me. So I think I'm just going to have to go ahead and do tiny studs. Um, I'm wearing for... I can't believe I'm not like on time. I'm going to wear the sweet on the outside fragrance. And I'm headed out. Hopefully, I can get some footage while I'm out. I don't know. It may be exclusive. It may not be. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, so one last look. This is me walking out the door. I did not do any shadow. Um, I did small studs, my two-layer necklace. I added two rings and a bracelet. I'm wearing this this style, uh, crossbody style. This outfit is the one I got from Nova. And I wore the Vacation Mommy shoes. And I'm going to do the lighter sage green shades. And again, my fragrance is sweet on the outside. It's smelling good. I'm about to head out, y'all, because I'm hella late to get on this road. You know, it's every time I'm trying to be on time, I forget everything. I don't have lotion. Even though I put a lot of lotion and oil on, I feel dry. Luckily, I have everything else. So this is the look with the sunny skies. Okay, it's giving what I needed it to give. And these people are driving nuts today. So we will not be talking in this car. I will see you all later or maybe at the gallery, hopefully.
flipping amazing okay and then i met three new people and i had coffee and food with two of them so we left the gallery about one o'clock uh, no 1 30 sorry it was supposed to end at 2 we left about 1 30 and then they were like what are you doing out there and I was like nothing and I wanted to go home and like take a nap but I'm like nothing so we went to the restaurant little cafe it's called cafe tele mesa I think I gotta look it up we went there I ordered a coffee and like a vegan cake and then they ordered food and we had great conversation so intellectual but so like enjoyed a kiki i am excited i'm like excited that there were other black people there that wanted to like make friends and be in an art space and actually discuss art and they love jazz too and school and everything like y'all don't even understand i feel like my face is giving but it's not, I'm not even sweating. Like, I'm hot in my body, but I'm not even sweating. Y'all, I had a beautiful sun Saturday. I had a beautiful Saturday. And Saturdays like this fuel me up to be like, all right, I want to go have a drink or something later tonight because I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling in the social mood. Um, They all live very far, though. They all live up in the valley somewhere. But the fact that we're all planning our next art date I hope I can put some clips in here from the exhibit. Uh, they will not be in the horizontal. They'll be vertical because they'll be coming from my TikTok. But I had such a beautiful Saturday with beautiful black people. The owner of the founder of Black Girls in Art Spaces was not there today, but we met the co-owner co-founder of art noir and she is a uh, part of the company in new york i'm excited i'm just so excited i'm filled up i'm filled up i'm pumped up let me get out of this crazy traffic because i'm in k-town and if you know you know child they do not know how to drive out here so let me get off